telling the church last night as I was teaching, I said, I don't know about, I can't speak for every man because we're all different, but there's some similarities, obviously, that have to do with just the makeup of how God has designed us. And one of the things that I know I need is that I, I really appreciate a word of encouragement from time to time. That really helps me. But I don't want to be encouraged all the time because, honestly, sometimes I need somebody to get on my case. I need somebody to say, you can do this. Stop whining. You know, step up. Keep moving forward. My wife is really funny. I, I, um, it's, it's a long story. But, um, but I, I, I tell her to call me fat boy. Because uh, sometimes, you know, I get this, I have to kind of work on this and be really careful. So I just kind of facetiously refer to myself as fat boy sometimes. And so sometimes she'll call me fat boy. But the only time she does, this sounds really bad. I'm, why am I telling you this? I don't know why I'm even letting you in on my private life like this. Okay, so anyway, so, 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 so she'll say when I get, you know, wobbly knees or weak need in, in, in life or whatever in ministry, and she'll say, you get up there and you preach, fat boy, you know. And it's just like, and you know, it's the strangest thing. It's a strange, and you guys can do the same to me, I guess, as well. I just gave everybody in the church permission to have a new nickname for me. Um, but there's something really amazing that when she does that, and it's even in joking, it makes me kind of go, yeah, yeah, fat boy, you get up there, fat boy. <laughs> oh, man, this is, I've ruined this message already. It's terrible. Um, but there's something in me that I, I need people in my life exhorting me and saying, you can do this. And we find that actually a lot in Scripture, where, where God is not just encouraging men of God, but he's exhorting them and say, be courageous, be strong. In this passage of Joshua, the Lord says that to him three times, and if that wasn't enough, as God gives this command to Joshua in public, the people respond under his leadership and say, as we followed Moses, we will follow you. And then they say this, only be strong and courageous. So the people said the same thing to Joshua. Now we're talking about a seasoned veteran leader. And he needed this word of exhortation. He needed this kick from behind. He needed encouragement, but he needed exhortation. And man, I want to give you both this morning. I want God to encourage you for what you're doing so well. And I want to exhort you I, I, I want to exhort you right out of the gate. Don't give up. Don't stop. Don't back off. Don't take your foot off the gas. Don't think that because you've reach, reached a certain age, it's time for other people to step in. It's like this is the time for every man to be strong and courageous in the calling that God has on your life.